Hey everybody, welcome to the newest episode of BlizzPlanet.com's Diablo Dialogue. Now as always, I'm your host, the Bearded Gamer, Chris Arnone. Now first off, let's talk last week's question. So last week, we were wondering, with patch 1.0.4 out now, how are you liking it? Do you think Blizzard hit a home run with this one finally? Or have you just completely given up on playing Diablo 3 altogether? Here were your best answers. We did love, love, love them. And of course, there'll be a question at the end of this one, and we'll throw up the best answers on next week's show. So, weekly news roundup time. Stay a while and listen. So last week, we were talking about the magic and gold uh, finds having to cap at 300% if you're all the way up to Paragon level 100. Now that will stack with the Nephilim Valor bonuses. If you have all five of those stacks, you can get 375%. But some commenters on the video were saying, well, no, no, no. If you also have the fortune shrines and certain benefits from your followers, you can up that even further. Well, this is incorrect. Sort of. Okay, now community manager Vayflare responded to some concerns, concerns on the Battle.net forums and clarified that the Fortune Shrine bonuses and follower contributions respect the 300% cap. So once you hit that 300%, they're not going to help you out anymore. And the Nephilim Valor bonuses will indeed still stack on top of that up to 375%. However, Vayflare also said that there are reports that the stack is going beyond the cap. In other words, with your fortune shrines and your, your uh, follower bonuses, that some instances it may be going up and above that 300% where it's supposed to be. So this does confirm that max paragon level equals max magic and gold find plus Nephilim Valor bonuses only. But there might be some bugs in there that are allowing the fortune shrines and the follower bonuses to still have an effect. But you can rest assured that'll probably get worked out pretty quickly by Blizzard once they nail that down. So there was some drama last week before 1.0.4 officially dropped. Inc. Gamers interviewed Diablo 1 and Diablo 2 creator David Brevik talking about Diablo 3. Now first off, they started off com coming out with these very sort of leading questions that were immediately setting this tone of dogging on Diablo 3. Questions like, uh, do you think they brought in the wrong people? Or do you feel let down that your legacy was mashed up? But David was pretty professional. He's very diplomatic, uh, you know, saying things like, honestly, I thought they did the best they could. But he did criticize their loot system. And he also criticized saying how and I surprised he was that Blizzard was taking so long to fix these things the fans were complaining about. Well, this interview made some of the Diablo 3 developers pretty angry, specifically on a public status on Facebook. Uh, Diablo 3 lead designer Jay Wilson said about the interview, linking to the interview, now kids, cover your ears, fuck that loser. Now needless to say, this caused quite the shitstorm on the internet, as I, you can imagine. You may have been part of this storm of controversy that was going on. Uh, a few days later on Battle.net, Jay Wilson did post an apology to David Brevik and the fans for his 
you know, rash and crude behavior. Uh, Jake says he expressed what he did out of anger and defense of his team and the game. He doesn't like it when people uh, disparage his team or the passion that these people have for Diablo 3. Uh, he does go on to say that he thought David is awesome and he should be treated with great respect because he did create two absolutely br brilliant games. Uh, and he went on further to explain that there some things they're doing with the game going forward. Now, these are things that we've talked about before. We're pretty sure that we're already in the pipeline. Uh, things like the auction house kind of short-circuiting the whole uh, natural pace of item drops. And it is something they're looking into and tr working on a fix for. Something to help balance that back out to still incentivize the item drops. Now, Aldoran's personal opinion, but i got to say, you know what, I back him up on this pretty much 100%. Uh, the interview was unprofessional by Ink Gamers. You know, they placed their bias in the questions instead of just truly trying to find out what David thought. That's just uh, it's, it's kind of a cardinal sin of an interview. You don't do that. Uh, but it's not too surprising. It's sort of Ink Gamers' shtick. Even though they claim to be a fan site, they kind of always have done that for a while. Uh, Dave did handle the interview very well. He didn't see, say anything that should have brought on such a, a dramatic and mean-spirited reaction. Uh, <clears throat> so was the apology warranted? Absolutely. But now, says Eldorian, and I agree with him, it's time to move back to what is Blizzard doing with Diablo 3. What things are they doing to try and make the game better? Uh, let's hear more about the changes they have in store and less about some Facebook drama bullshit that's going on. I agree wholeheartedly. Let's get back to what we like so much. Let's get back to the game and how they're making it better. So, there's more Eldorian rant, okay? It's Eldorian rant time. I need like a theme song and a dance to go along with this, but let's move on, right? Eldorian does the dancing, not me. So one of the things that's been annoying for him recently is reading on YouTube and on Facebook, particularly Blizz Planet's own Facebook page. People are, are saying how, oh, they hate Diablo 3 and they're going to stop playing it. Now, he, he doesn't think he's ever gone to a Call of Duty forum, a fan site or something, and said how he's been playing the game for a month or two and now in grand fashion he's going to quit in a very public, grand sort of way. Uh, you know, with... Diablo 3, there's no subscription fee. You paid your 60 bucks, and why the heck should he care if you choose to play, keep playing the game or stop? Uh, how many of you played Diablo 2, in fact, then stopped, and then came back to it a while later? Eldorian did. He says he probably did it up to about maybe 10 times in the last 12 years. The last time was about three months before Diablo 3 launched. It was about the time we started doing these shows. I remember him getting back into Diablo 2 yet again. <clears throat> And he doesn't remember in Diablo 2 where people felt like it just wasn't fun for them anymore. And then they went to play something else. But before they did it, they had to get on a public forum and tell people, I'm leaving. I'm going to play something else. Congratulations. We don't care. Go. Do it. <coughs> the game isn't World of Warcraft, where the chance of you playing another MMO sort of means you kind of need to unsubscribe. You know, it, it's kind of a bigger deal. You're leaving your raid group. You know, there's more involved with leaving World of Warcraft than leaving Diablo 3. If you're bored, go play another game. I've kind of made that point before. Y'all hated it, but it's true. Uh, in fact, Eldorian's been playing Guild Wars 2. He, he owns it, he's been playing it a lot. There's no subscription fee. But guess what? Eventually, you'll probably get bored with that game too and need to find something else. And maybe, maybe, you can come back to Diablo 3 at that time and enjoy all the new changes that have come into play that maybe will squelch some of your ridiculous complaints. And some of your viable ones. Let's admit, there are some of both. So, we'll finish up with some questions. Now, we've got a double question. Now, Dorian says you can answer one, you can answer both. Either way, we're going to throw up the best answers on next week's show. What are your thoughts on the rant, okay? Uh, do you agree with Eldorian, or do you think he's completely off base? And if so, why? Other side of this, how about Jay Wilson's apology? Uh, do you think he needed to make it? Uh, do you think it was enough? So let us know. You can answer you know, one question, both questions. Throw all that stuff in the comments, and we'll read off the best answers on next week's show. And of course, while you're on YouTube, why don't you check out The Bearded Gamer Show? All kinds of awesome, beardy, video gamey, splendid stuff going on over there. Check it out, Bearded Gamer Show. I'm a friend of Blizz Planet. Just right, well, wait, that way. Yeah, that way. Lower right corner of your screen. There, there's a little link. Bearded Gamer Show. Go check it out. And of course, head to blizzplanet.com. All the news, reviews, a great community, everything you need to know about Blizzard Entertainment Games. 
See you next time.